Bionic Flying Fox. Festo is a German manufacturer of industrial equipment and automation systems. The robot you see on the screen is one of its specialist spin-off projects. During its creation, the engineers, as you can easily guess, were inspired by the mechanics of an animal's body, a flying fox. At rest, as well as in a state of activity, the robot simulates the movements of a flying fox almost identically. Therefore, it's able to hang upside down, clinging to a perch. In motion, the robot unfolds its wings and alternates a flight phase with a glide. As the material for the wings, the engineers chose impenetrable film, as well as lycra sheets welded at 45,000 points. If you look closer at the material, you can see the obvious resemblance to beehives. Thanks to this special design, the robot can keep moving without going down, even if the fabric is damaged. It should be noted that the developers have equipped the Fox with an infrared sensor system that transmits data about the surrounding space wirelessly. Thanks to them, the robot can fly in semi-automatic mode. Robird Modern scientists and engineers increasingly take their inspiration Wheelbot. And here's another amazing robot, created by specialists from the company Festo, which we've mentioned earlier. Perhaps the main feature of Bionic Wheelbot is that, unlike its natural prototype, it won't frighten even the most arachnophobic people. In addition, this spider robot, like other Festo electronic animals, looks very attractive. The development was shown in March 2018. It should be noted that the robot can move in two fundamentally different ways. For the first one to move forward, the machine uses three pairs of legs like a real spider. However, in case of danger, the robot rotates the legs to take on the shape of a wheel. After that, it starts moving and rolling on the surface, reaching a higher speed than if it was walking with its legs in the usual way. The second mode is also relevant for use on smooth surfaces. Bionic Wheelbot was created to show the possibilities that scalp robots will have in the future. Eloom 
For a long time, underwater maintenance or inspection has been a complex, time and energy consuming procedure. Fortunately, more and more engineers are working on robots that will make underwater work easier. Eloom is a flexible underwater robot developed by Norwegian specialists. At first glance, it's clear that the robot looks a bit like a snake. Eloom's goal is to conduct research on the ocean floor. It's worth mentioning that the machine can stay deep for a long time, and it doesn't need to rise to the surface by air like a human being. The metal cylinders were designed to make Eloom look like a snake for a reason. The fact is that this is the optimal way for safe movement in a liquid environment. The robot's equipped with a motor that powers it too. There are also cameras for the operator to see what's happening underwater in real time. Another advantage of this robot is its modular design, thanks to which customers can modify the Eloom to their needs. For example, the machine can be equipped with tools for simple repairs. Crabster CR200 Humanity is working hard to explore the ocean floor and learn more about it. The Crabster CR200 was created to patrol the coastal area of the Korean peninsula. The fact is that there are very strong underwater currents in this region, so swimming in these conditions is complicated, but the robot you see on the screen has no problem doing it. Powerful legs adhere to the bottom surface and grab onto the protuberances, so the submersible maintains the correct position for its work. As the name Crabster CR200 suggests, the engineers were inspired by a crab. The animal was chosen for its ability to move quickly both on land and at the bottom of the sea. The Crabster CR200 is a creation of specialists from the Korea Institute of Ocean Science and Technology, who was first shown in 2016. Curiously, the submersible is unmanned. Notice the presence of windows, though, which are not really used to see the underwater world from inside. They allow you to quickly see the performance of the submarine from the outside when it rises. The robot weighs 600 kilograms, and its speed is 1.5 kilometers per hour. It should be noted that the front legs can be equipped with manipulators to perform various tasks underwater. Plurobot To create this robot, which mimics the movements of a salamander, Experts had to study the x-rays of the movements of a real salamander while walking on the ground or swimming. Perhaps that's why the resulting Plurobot looks so much like this animal. The robotic salamander was created by the scientists at the Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne, Switzerland. It was decided to print the skeleton of the robot on a 3D printer. The robot's driven by electrical circuits that operate under the control of the synthetic nervous system. Interestingly, the vertebrae of the robotic creature are smaller than the actual vertebrae of a salamander. However, this was done on purpose to achieve a realistic movement with the available technology. The creators of the robot pursued a noble objective too. Plurobot allows a deeper understanding of the locomotor system of vertebrates. The new knowledge acquired can be used to create better neuroprostheses for people. Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals. Amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now, you won't regret it.